Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you've all had a lovely week and happy Friday to you all. Today I've got for you my May favourites and for some reason I keep wanting to say my February favourites because the last six months have just flown by of 2015. Anyway, I've got lots of products to show you, some are new and some are rediscoveries. All of these products, most of them that are makeup or nail related, will most probably be on my blog, so I'll pop all the links down below if you want to go and check them out. So let's get started. Let's start with some makeup. So the first thing I have for you is the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Now I always hear Fleur, which is Fleur de Force here on YouTube and rave about this concealer. And I finally got round to trying it. I was using the Maybelline, the Eraser Eye, absolutely love that. But I did want to review quite a few more drugstore concealers for my blog. And this one was absolutely amazing. I actually wore it um, to the wedding I went to last week and that was a really long day. And this just wore so well. It does say it's a 16 hour wear, up to 16 hour wear concealer. But it was really brightening, lovely and creamy in consistency. And it just did the trick of covering things up and highlighting where I wanted it to. And this is such an affordable concealer as well. I think it's about three or four pound, just brilliant value for money. The next thing is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I have this in shade 005 Silky Beige. Now I am a big fan of the MAC MSF in light, natural I think I have and the medium dark for when I'm a bit more tanned or medium deep I think it is and I wanted to kind of compare this to this drugstore one and you know what I wasn't disappointed the packaging isn't really the best to go by but this is a really affordable powder I think it's like three pounds and it just gives the most amazing flawless coverage it is a matte powder and I tested it out the whole day and it just stained perfectly and it went really well with the BB cream I was wearing as well it just really matted it down and just gave it, like I said, such a great flawless finish. So I will definitely be purchasing this in the future just for a more affordable drugstore option to have in my makeup collection as well. I have one more product for you and this is actually from Collection as well and this was a product that they launched quite recently into their collection and it is the Eyes Uncovered Nude Bronze Palette. Now these colours are identical dupes for the Naked One and like I said I have reviewed most things and this is on my blog if you want to see a comparison of the Urban Decay Naked One to the six shades that are in here. These are gorgeous in consistency, they're really buttery and creamy. I've been wearing them with like a coloured eyeshadow primer underneath and then popping these on top. I actually have this second one in on my eyes today, I don't know if you can see, but they're just gorgeous neutral shades, really wearable for every day. The packaging is slightly naff, it's cardboard, but they're really affordable and just great everyday colours and they do do I think two other neutral palettes as well to coincide with this Eyes Uncovered collection. Next on to a few skincare and body favourites and the first one is something that I discovered recently that was new in the drugstore and it's the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Micellar Gel. Now this is absolutely gorgeous. I would say I slightly prefer this to the micellar water. This is comes in like slightly a smaller packaging but you don't need as much and it just removes makeup with ease and it just leaves my skin looking really glowing after as well. It's just a lovely formula and it is for sensitive eyes as well and it definitely doesn't irritate mine. I just pop it on a bit of cotton wool and it just disperses really easily and just gets rid of my makeup really quickly which is what you want at 
of a night, you know, if you're tired or something like that and you just want to remove it really quickly, this does the job perfectly. This next product has been a classic for me for years. I've always used it. I always have it in my cupboard. It's like a first aid essential and it is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Just recently I've been getting loads of breakouts and things like that and whenever I get a breakout I just pop a little dab of this on the spot and then I leave it overnight and it usually reduces the swelling and the redness. But this is a wonder balm. You can put it on anything. It helps moisturize your lips or if you've got a bite or a bit of eczema or something like that. It is a little bit expensive, but you know what? You don't need much at all. It's just a brilliant staple I think everyone should have in their cupboards. The Soap and Glory Ferminator is my next favorite. And this is something I've been using as an add-on for my wedding beauty countdown routine. So I've been using this on my arms and I actually discovered it through Glam Life Guru which is Tati here on YouTube. She did a whole video on Soap and Glory. I think it was like a hot or not or something. So I'll put the link down below if you want to go and check that out. But she loved this stuff and I love anything that's a bit unusual that it is an add-on to like your body routine as well as moisturising. This is kind of like a gel formula and you just rub it onto the arms. It's got a slight exfoliating bit as well and you just rub it on under the arms and it just helps smooth them out after showering. It's just a really nice product and it was £12 for 125 mils, but you only need a time tiny bit and a little goes a long way but it's just something nice to have it's supposed to be firming as well but I think it just is more moisturizing but it's just a good product and I love it I have one nail polish for you and of course I have to feature a nail polish because I am a nail polish junkie and it is the Morgan Taylor Don't Worry Be Brilliant Nail Polish and this is a bright neon orange, such a beautiful corally colour and I actually wore this on my toes to the wedding I went to last week and it's just stunning. It is virtually identical to China Glaze flip flop fantasy but I think the formula of this one is slightly better if you've ever used the china glaze one it is quite matte and does go on really sort of not very nicely you can see gaps in and things it doesn't go on evenly so you kind of need two to three coats whereas this is a little bit better in consistency but I absolutely love this colour I think this will be one of my staple neon corals for the summertime. This month I have a few accessories favourites for you and the first one are these gorgeous colourful neon earrings from Accessorize. I just love the colour combination of them they're just so pretty and they just caught my eye straight away and they just look lovely with a beautiful dress for summer or if you're going out for drinks and things like that. I just absolutely love bright earrings and accessories. The next couple of accessories are from one of my favourite shops ever and that is Primark or Primani as everyone likes to call it. They just do some great stuff in there. They really have it spot on. Just everything they bring in is so fashion forward and affordable. And the first thing I have is this gorgeous little clutch bag from Primark and it's a mint green one and I have to admit it doesn't fit much in it. I only realised that when I tried to fit everything in it but it is a fairly good size. I mean if you're just taking your cards out and a lipstick and a phone you can just about get that in but it's just a gorgeous looking clutch and I like the fact that it has a strap as well but you can also tuck that in and this was only a tenner and you would never know this was from somewhere like Primark but I just really love this for the summer if I'm going out for drinks or something. The other Primarni favourite is staying on the theme of the mint green and it is these gorgeous sandals which I think I hauled in a recent video as well but now the sun has come out it's finally time to get my toes out of hibernation so I've started wearing lots of pretty crystallised flip flops I love them even if you're going out at night as well and you don't want to wear heels 
I love just putting on a pair of these and they still make an outfit look kind of dressed up as well. But these I think were about a tenner as well, but they're just gorgeous. They're really nicely made and I love this iridescent stone on them. Just so, so pretty. So guys, that concludes my May favourites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and also let me know in the comments below what have been some of your May favourites. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration and also check out my two previous videos by clicking on the links on the right. Have a wonderful weekend guys and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye!